Today, we have an eye-opening video for you as we explore the top 10 most dangerous cities in New York. Now before we dive into this list, we want to emphasize that this video is not intended to spread fear or negatively. Our goal is to raise awareness about certain areas and promote discussions about improving public safety. So, let's get started, meanwhile don't forget to subscribe to our channel to educate yourself about the wonders around the world. Number 10, West Harlem, Manhattan. West Harlem, which covers Morningside Heights, Manhattanville, and Hamilton Heights Sugar Hill, has a violent crime rate of 24 incidents per 100,000 residents, and a property crime rate of 132 per 100,000 residents. This is lower than the crime rates for Manhattan as a whole. However, it is important to note that crime can happen anywhere, so it is always important to be aware of your surroundings and take precautions no matter where you are. Number 9, Brownsville. This neighborhood in East Brooklyn is one of the city's most dangerous places and by far one of the Bronx's worst neighborhoods. It has one of the highest homicide rates and a high percentage of drug-related crimes. For some, it has some of the most dangerous streets in America. Brownsville has a long history of poverty and crime. In recent years, there have been efforts to improve the neighborhood, but it remains one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in New York City. According to the New York Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, the neighborhood has a much higher than national average rate of assault-related hospitalizations. There are 175 per 100,000 people, compared to just 59 per 100,000 in both Brooklyn as a whole and all of New York City together. The last thing to note about Brownsville is that things are not improving. These statistics continue to worsen yearly, with little signs of taking a turn for the better. Number 8, North Crown Heights. North Crown Heights is a neighborhood in the borough of Brooklyn in New York City. It is bordered by Prospect Heights to the south, Flatbush to the west, East Flatbush to the east, and Crown Heights south to the north. North Crown Heights has a diverse population, with a large Caribbean and African American community. The neighborhood is also home to several Orthodox Jewish residents. North Crown Heights has a violent crime rate of 592 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 2,952 per 100,000 residents. This is higher than the crime rates for Brooklyn as a whole but lower than the crime rates for New York City as a whole. It is important to note that not all of North Crown Heights is dangerous. There are many safe and vibrant blocks in the neighborhood. However, it is important to be aware of the areas that are more prone to crime. Number 7, East Flatbush, Brooklyn. East Flatbush is a neighborhood in the borough of Brooklyn in New York City. It is bordered by Crown Heights and Empire Boulevard to the north, Brownsville and East 98th Street to the east, Flatland slash Canaries and the Long Island Railroad's Bay Ridge branch to the south, and Flatbush and Bedford slash Nostrand Avenues to the west. East Flatbush is a diverse neighborhood with a large Caribbean and West Indian population. The neighborhood is also home to several Orthodox Jewish residents. East Flatbush has a violent crime rate of 702 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 3,180 per 100,000 residents. This is higher than the crime rates for Brooklyn as a whole but lower than the crime rates for New York City as a whole. Number 6, Soundview, Bronx. Soundview is a neighborhood in the Bronx, New York City. It is bordered by Castle Hill to the north, Parkchester to the east, Mott Haven to the south, and Hunts Point to the west. Soundview is a diverse neighborhood with a large Hispanic population, as well as a significant African American and Caribbean population. The neighborhood is also home to several Puerto Rican and Dominican immigrants. Soundview has a violent crime rate of 841 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 3,902 per 100,000 residents. This is higher than the crime rates for the Bronx as a whole and for New York City as a whole. Number 5, East Harlem, Manhattan. East Harlem, also known as El Barrio, is a neighborhood in the borough of Manhattan in New York City. It is bordered by Central Park to the west, Harlem River to the east, East 116th Street to the north, and East 96th Street to the south. East Harlem is a diverse neighborhood with a large Hispanic population, as well as a significant African American and Caribbean population. It is also home to several Puerto Rican and Dominican immigrants. East Harlem has a long history of poverty and crime. In recent years, there have been efforts to improve the neighborhood, but it remains one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in New York City. East Harlem has a violent crime rate of 884 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 4,132 per 100,000 residents. 
This is significantly higher than the crime rates for New York City as a whole. Number 4, Marisania, Bronx. Marisania is a neighborhood in the borough of the Bronx in New York City. It is bordered by University Heights to the north, Mount Hope and Crotona Park east to the east, Melrose and Hunts Point to the south, and East Harlem to the west. Marisania has a long history of poverty and crime. In recent years, there have been efforts to improve the neighborhood, but it remains one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in New York City. Marisania has a violent crime rate of 953 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 4,642 per 100,000 residents. This is significantly higher than the crime rates for New York City as a whole. Marisania has a high unemployment rate and a lack of educational and economic opportunities. This can lead to frustration and anger, which can contribute to crime. Number 3, Hunts Point, Bronx. Hunts Point is a neighborhood located on a peninsula on the East River in the South Bronx. It is home to a range of food and other shipping industries. Violent crime rates in the neighborhood Hunts Point which is the most dangerous neighborhood in New York City have been increasing for years. About 30% of the residents live below the poverty line. Hunts Point also has a 12% unemployment rate, contributing to increased crime data. Besides having a juvenile detention center in the neighborhood, Hunts Point has a higher incarceration rate than most other NYC neighborhoods. Hunts Point has a violent crime rate of 1,144 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 5,022 per 100,000 residents. This is significantly higher than the crime rates for the Bronx as a whole and for New York City as a whole. Number 2, South Bronx. The South Bronx is a neighborhood in the borough of the Bronx in New York City. It is bordered by East Harlem to the north, Mott Haven to the east, Hunts Point to the south, and University Heights and Marisania to the west. The South Bronx was once a thriving industrial area, but it fell into decline in the 1970s and 1980s. The neighborhood became increasingly impoverished and crime-ridden. However, in recent years, there has been some revitalization in the South Bronx. New businesses have opened, and there have been efforts to improve public safety. The neighborhood has a violent crime rate of 1,023 per 100,000 residents and a property crime rate of 5,162 per 100,000 residents. This is significantly higher than the crime rates for New York City as a whole. The South Bronx is one of the poorest neighborhoods in New York City. Poverty can lead to social problems such as unemployment, homelessness, and drug addiction, which can contribute to crime. The South Bronx is home to several gangs, which are involved in drug trafficking, robbery, and other crimes. Number 1, East New York, Brooklyn. East New York is a neighborhood in the eastern section of the borough of Brooklyn in New York City. It is bordered by Cypress Hill Cemetery to the north, the Queens Borough Line to the east, Jamaica Bay to the south, and the Bay Ridge Branch Railroad tracks and Van Sinderen Avenue to the west. East New York was founded as the town of New Lots in the 1650s. It was a rural area until the early 1900s when it began to develop rapidly. The neighborhood was home to many factories and warehouses, and it became a major transportation hub. In the 1970s and 1980s, East New York experienced a period of decline. The neighborhood became increasingly impoverished and crime-ridden. East New York has a violent crime rate of 1,207 per 100,000 residents and a property crime of 6,084 per 100,000 residents. If you are considering visiting or moving to East New York, it is important to be aware of the crime rate and take precautions to stay safe. And there you have it the top 10 areas to avoid in New York. If you're planning on visiting or moving to New York, it is important to be aware of the most dangerous cities. And if you must travel to these cities, take precautions to stay safe by staying in a well-lit area, avoiding walking alone at night. Thank you for watching. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave in the comment below.